Hi everyone, I'm Jen Sheffer, Digital Learning Coach for Burlington Public Schools, and welcome to this training tutorial on the Studio feature in Discovery Education. So in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to use Studio. So to begin, you're going to be in your Discovery Ed Teacher Dashboard, and you're going to click on Studio. So I'm gonna show you the different options that are available to you with this feature. The first is the ability to use a pre-existing template that has already been created by Discovery Education. And they are instructional strategies that are research-based um, and that are proven to work with students. So once your studio opens, this is your landing page. Any studio boards to create will appear here. So the first time you open this, this is going to be empty. Um, so to start by using those templates, you're going to click on the create new button. You're going to see these three different options. We have templates, boards, and slideshows. So we're going to start with the templates. These are quick and easy to use with students. They're going to save you lots of time. So you will begin by picking a strategy template, adding some quick content, and then assigning or sharing with your students. The SOS is Spotlight on Strategies is what that uh, stands for. So you can see here, there are quite a few various strategies that you can choose from that emphasize um, or help develop various types of skills, whether it's summarizing, citing evidence, inferencing and prediction, um, key ideas and details, sequencing. Um, so whatever the skill it is that you're working on, you would select that particular template. Keeping in mind though, that you can fully customize these. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Quick Write. If I want to use this template, I am going to click on Build This Activity. This is um, asking students to do a quick write of a video that they watch. So they are instructed to watch the video without pausing and then write down as many key, idea, key details as they can remember in one minute, watch it a second time, and then take one minute to add to their list use those details to write a three to four sentence paragraph summarizing the content of the video. So if I want to use this, I can see here on the left hand side that I have some instructions for me as a teacher. I can change the topic in the space provided, add my video, and then I also have the ability to download this PDF where I can explore extensions or how to modify that particular strategy, or I can learn more about it. So if I click on that X, that will, um, that will go away. And then what I can do is do exactly what it said. I can click where it says topic. You'll notice I have this um, formatting toolbar where I can change the alignment. I can add bullets and uh, numbered lists. I can add bold italics. If I click on size, I have this drop down menu so I can change the size of my text. And this will appear in every area where uh, there is text on the slide. So you'll see the same thing is here, can change all that text. And then to add my video, I click on the plus sign. I can search within Discovery Ed, but more than likely you're going to wanna pull something that you've already saved. So it can be in one of your folders from my content or uh, from your quick list. So that's where this quick list comes in handy. So if I know that I pulled something recent, it's going to appear here. And then I can just click on it. And I'm going to click on that and then click add selected. And there it is. Now I do have some formatting abilities with this particular video. Um, I can click this edit tool. And I can change the text to be beside, below, or just the image with, with no description of that video. Uh, the image settings, I can have either fill or size to fit. And I can also either display the title description in type or not. That, that's entirely up to you as a teacher. Um, this is going to open the video segment. This will duplicate it. This is going to replace it. So if I need to change the video, I click replace and I can go back to my quick list. If I hit delete, it's going to delete the whole box. So on my Mac, I can hit Command Z and that's gonna come back. So that's sort of like a quick undo shortcut. Now, the other thing you can do is customize the look and the aesthetic of your slide. So if I click on customization, that palette option, I click on this down arrow here and I have all these different colors to choose from. I can also um, change the background so I can have an image background. You can see here, 
various images to choose from or patterned backgrounds. So if I change the color, say if I make it a green and then I change uh, the background, that's going to um, correspond with whichever, whichever background that I select. So um, you can get creative with that customization with the color. Uh, this is going to launch those teacher notes again if you need them. Um, but if it's ready to go, you can see how quick and easy that was. If you um, want to just keep the instructions as is, um, you have a couple different options now here too. If you click on share, you can type the name of a colleague in your department or your grade level. They will automatically populate in this box and you can share that. Uh, you can copy the link, um, share it with a uh, colleague, or you can copy this link and paste it into Google Classroom for your students. If you want to keep this assignment direct in Discovery Ed for your students to complete, you're going to click on the three dots here in the upper right hand corner. And you're going to click on assign. And it's asking if you are sure you want to assign this and you can click OK continue. Assignments cannot be changed once they are assigned, so keep that in mind. You can edit the title, which you probably want to do. You can edit your instructions. You'll click on add date. You can give the assignment date and you can give it a due date as well. Then you can click on select class. Now what you'll see here is your classes from Aspen. They will automatically populate. So there's seamless integration with Aspen. So you can click on the class. All students are selected by default, but you can click on this and you'll see a list of all your students. Um, so you can differentiate. You don't have to send it to everyone. You can send it to those specific students who need it. And then you can click Assign. And then you can click View Assignment Manager. And you will see the assignment here. You'll be able to see also how many students completed it. Um, and if you click on the actions button, you can click on view details. So you're going to you you will receive um, detailed uh, report and data about um, the completion of the assignment um, and the responses of your students. So this is an excellent um, feature that we have access to in um, Discovery Ed in the, that studio. You'll see over here student activity. You're going to see assignments. You'll see student reports and um, the different classrooms that you have as well. So everything is pulled automatically from Aspen. All your rosters are automatically generated as well, which is um, a fantastic feature. So uh, once I've assigned that, if I click on the, the D icon in Discovery Ed, I can go back to my studio. I can click on Create New. Now, if I want to create something from scratch, I'm going to click on Board. And a blank slide is going to open by default. It's just that one page. So if I click on the plus sign, I can add from my quick list. I can add text or buttons. I can also add quizzes. So I could put in a video from my quick list. Click Add Selected. And then for quizzes, I could put in a short answer. And I can just say, what, what are three things you learned as a result of watching this video? This is a short answer, but as you can see here, you can add multiple choice or a multiple select um, or a block type the question here, and then add some content. So you can really start to design a really nice board for your students. Just going to go ahead and I can delete this. So anything that you add that you need deleted, just click on it, hit delete. Now, if you want to add additional pages, you're going to click on this down arrow here. You can see here, add new blank page. You also have the ability to change the layout of the page. So you can have a resource, you can have an activity. These are um, page layouts that are automatically created for you. So you can change the look and the feel of each page. Um, and that's all there is to it. Add additional blank pages um, with dynamic content, with the video, with the quizzes embedded right on the pages. So um, 
hopefully this um, has been helpful for you to see how you would create um, what's what are called boards. So if you want to, um, let's see, we're going to save this real quick. It's automatically saved as a draft. You can see here, you can add a description as well. So keep that in mind. If I go back to studio, you're going to see that that board was just saved as a draft. So if I'm ready to edit that, I can reopen this and I can continue to build this. You can see here again, it's a draft. So if I go back to my studio, if I click on create new, I have a slideshow. As a, an, an additional option, you'll notice the slide is a little bit larger than um, the previous example, but it is very much the same, um, same look and feel. I can add additional blank slides. If I go back to slide one, I can click on the plus sign and I can add the same exact type of content. I can add videos, I can add quiz questions, text and uh, buttons. So um, once I've done that, again, I can move from one slide to the next. Um, I can customize the color, I click on that down arrow. So I can re really quickly build a, a presentation. Now, if you have presentations in Google Slides, you can take screenshots um, of the text and you could you could paste them in um, as uh, an image. So that would be where you would upload from your device. Um, you would add a file, whether it's a JPEG um, or something along those lines. But again, using the, um, the templates, the existing templates is a really quick and easy way to um, share out content from Discovery Ed. So if I go back to Studio one last time, again, templates, boards, and slideshows. Um, and in the next part of this video, I'm going to show you existing templates, um, entire lessons. So we're going to take a look at that um, in just a moment. So the last thing I'd like to show you in Studio is how you can find pre-existing Studio quizzes and activities or slideshows, how you can customize those and share them in the district folders that we have been creating here in the Discovery Ed platform. So you can see I'm in my Studio dashboard and I'm going to click on the Discovery Ed icon to go back into my teacher dashboard. I'm going to click on Browse Subjects. And for the purpose of this example, I'm just going to assume I teach social studies. Now, you're going to see instructional activities right away. And um, if you know that your colleagues will want to preview this background builder on Native Americans and the students will be able to describe and explain the impact of Native Americans, what you'll first do to put it in the district library is click on the three dots and then click Save. And then you can click on my content. You can put it in your own folder, which you can then access and customize the, the board. Uh, but you want your colleagues to be able to do the same thing. So you'll click on district content. This is going to go into elementary social studies and there's a third grade folder and you can click add. So now that has been saved uh, in that uh, particular folder for the district and everyone in the district can access it. And then everybody will be able to make some customization to this. So you can open it up and you can see here that it is eight slides. You can click through, um, make sure that it aligns with what you're teaching. And you'll notice that you can't customize it yet. And that's because you haven't made a copy of it yet. So you're going to do that. The other thing I want to point out real quick too, is you can see who created this and when it was created. If we click on this drop down, you'll see this was created very recently on the 14th of October in 2021 by Discovery Ed. So it is very current and relevant. So um, if you want to make the customization to this, you're going to have to make a copy of it. So we click copy. And we say, yes, we want to copy it, bring it into our studio dashboard. And now once we've done that, we'll have the ability to add a blank slide. So if we found an additional video or another type of piece of content that we want to add, we can add a blank slide. You can see we can drag and drop that new slide and put it wherever we want um, in this uh, slideshow. Um, and you have the ability, as I said, to customize this fully.
um, and this is saved automatically as a draft. Um, when you're ready to publish it and share it with your students, you can go ahead and do that and um, save the changes. I'm gonna go back into the D, um, gonna go back into browse subjects, into social studies. And I wanted to just quickly show you a um, kindergarten, kindergarten maps activity. Um, this is a board. So this shows you uh, the difference between a slideshow and a board. So if I click this open, um, if you uh, have been teaching for a while, you may remember the tool called Glogster, and it was sort of a digital poster. So the slideshows are just one slide, but you can see here, this is a, um, a board and it's a continuous, um, it's almost like a poster. It's like a digital poster with lots of different types of content on it. So I'm just scrolling down and you can see that there's some audio files and um, several videos and text with questions. So it's one page, but it's a longer page. And again, it's similar to that interactive um, digital poster tool um, that some of you may remember called Glogster. So that is, um, I just thought it was important to show you the difference in studio between making a board and making a slideshow. So you can continue to scroll down and add additional content if you wanna make a board. Um, so that is studio. Um, I think it's a fantastic feature in this platform, and I hope you agree. Um, if you would like to meet with me or another digital learning coach um, for additional support one-on-one, -on -one, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm available to meet with you in person um, or via Google Meet at your convenience, and I hope you have enjoyed uh, learning about the studio feature in Discovery Ed, and I appreciate you watching. Thanks so much.